everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe, smash that like button as well. And remember to share guys, it don't cost you a penny, just share and press that like button. And today it's Brighton nil, Manchester United 3. Yes guys, a repeat from Saturday's match. Today was the Carabao Cup. Today we are through on to the next round of the quarterfinals, guys. Brighton nil, Manchester United free. Well, guys, that first half, gosh, oh my God, it was boring. I almost fell asleep once again watching this match. But luckily, luckily, just, just before near to the end of the first half, with a free kick, got to say Scott McTominay came, came out and headed that ball in. Straight on making it 1-0. That was the only thing that was good about the first half. Apart from that, the first half was rubbish. Rubbish and boring. I couldn't believe what I watched for the first half. I thought, God, when are we going to get started? Seeing the other teams playing, getting the goal. I see Manchester City, one or two goals up. Everton, two, one up as well. And I was just thinking, what's going on, man? We need to score, we need to score, we need to score. But eventually, guys, we got that goal. And going into the first, second half, 1-0 up. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Donny van der Beek with the back heel straight to Juan Mata. Juan Mata to slot it in. It was a wonderfully worked goal, guys. It was a wonderfully worked, well-crafted goal. Brilliant. Some kudos to Donny van der Beek. Good signing. He's proven so far. And my God, he's agent coming out of nowhere telling men like Ole, I don't know why my man's playing four minutes. If that was me, I would play four minutes bruv are you mad don't play my boy for four minutes next i mean you're gonna have some words that's what was really going that's what i'm hearing about donny van der Beek's agent calm down tranquilo tranquilo come to I, you know you don't need to go that far calm your ass down let donny van der Beek do his thing he will get into the first team i guarantee you that he'll get into the first team sometime he's an important player in the squad anyway he's going to be playing in and out and that's what the thing is for now, he's just going to be playing in and out. And then we got my boy, Paul Labile Pogba, with a fantastic free kick. Neil Mopé, we all would like to know, what the hell was you doing kneeling? Neil Mopé was found kneeling for some reason. I think for some reason he's traumatised from what happened to him at the end of the game against, on Saturday, I mean, when he's handballed the ball. But he was kneeling for no damn reason. My brother, it didn't work. Because at the end of the day, Paul Abile Pogba scored a fantastic free kick. And you can see how happy he was. The joy in his face. Screaming and shouting. Yeah! 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 He was absolutely buzzing, you know. But I'm so glad to see Pogba score his first goal of the season. To get things up and running. So the match finished 3-0. We are through to the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. We move on. We'll see who we have from tomorrow. Because tomorrow will be the draw after the Liverpool and Arsenal game. But I'm looking forward to see who we have next. It's a good opportunity for us to win trophy, especially under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And boy, oh boy, he needs that. And he cannot mess up. Three times we went to the semi-finals in three competitions and we lost. This season, we cannot mess up. We need to win something. For the team's, you know, for the team's confidence, the momentum, you know, just to win something together will mean a lot. It will mean a lot and it will bring a lot to the team's confidence. Again, I have to keep on saying confidence, confidence, confidence. Because that's what's needed right now. Confidence in this team. And my man of the match today has to go to Juan Mata. My guy, Juan the Maestro. Ah, uh, magician, you know. But yeah, Mata was amazing today. With an assist and then with a goal today. The, the goal that Donny van der Beek gave him with the assist. Brilliant. Brilliant play. Brilliant goal. The assist coming from the free kick to Scott McTominay as well. So he was my man of the match. My donkey of the match today. <laughs> Boy, Vindelof today. Just because you played, my brother. Just because you played Vindelof. Uh, to be fair, I don't care if he wasn't playing. If he was on the bench, he would have been a donkey of the match. Vindelof, he was okay. It's not like he was shit today. He was okay. He was steady. But it's just that because right now, me and him, I'm not happy with him right now. you got to be my donkey of the match. Everyone else played well. Even Daniel James to a certain aspect. But apart from that, he was also trash as well. But 
He's done his thing. He's done his thing. You can't blame him for that. And my player ratings today, let's go straight into the game. We had Dean Henderson in goal. Dean Henderson done well today. Nothing much he could have done, you know, he was, he was quiet. But when it came to it, he stood up and he showed himself. And I have to give him a seven today. Today we had Dalo. Although I think Dalo be leaving, you know, this is his last couple of games for us. I'm going to have to give him a six as well. And Eric Bailly, solid, 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 solid Ivorian. Trust me. You know what, my compatriot, you know, mon frère Eric Bailly. Me and you, like, we're cool. But obviously, you need to stay fit. But yes, I'm gonna have to give him a seven. I would want him to partner Harry Maguire. He done well with Lindelof, but I think with Harry Maguire, we'll, be, we'll have a better partnership, a solid defense because uh, Maguire's got strength. Bayer's got strength. Bayer's quick, very good in the air as well, same as Maguire. Bayer as well is also good on the ball, so you can't you can't just deny that he's not that good. He's he's very good on the ball. He gives, he's good at bringing the ball forward as well, carrying it out from the back. Just like you know what you got with Miguel. So, yeah, him, seven. With Lindelof as well, don't give the match six today. I don't even want to say anything about Vindelof. I'm tired of him. I've been onto him for a very long time. Very long time. I've told my boy before, like, he's a suspect, you know. You can mute him. Anyone can mute him. Even a kid can stick him up in a corner, bro. These days, these times, he's trying to show that he's brave because he chased the what's it called? A rubber in Sweden, whatever. Yeah, just, just, just to show that he's he's brave. But really and truly, we've seen a couple, many incidents with Lindelof, showing that he's not brave and strong enough for this. He ain't ready for this. He ain't cut out to be in the Premier League. He ain't cut out to be in the Premier League. And we have Brandon Williams. Brandon Williams as well. He done okay. I'm gonna have to give him a six. I can't think of anything else that he's done better, but apart from that, he's gonna get a six. And then next we have in midfield Fred. Fred, Pastor Frederick, you've done good today, my brother. But I'm gonna have to give you a six as well because you gave the ball away so many times. Another miss with Scott McTominay with a goal. Just because you scored a goal, I'm gonna give you a seven. But next time, you better be playing good because apart from that, you was ineffective. You wasn't spraying the balls. You wasn't really intercepting too much. You was just there. You was just there. Can you imagine? Just there. But yeah, we're moving on straight up into the into the wing role. We have Juan Mata, the man of the match. Eight for him, brother. Juan Mata, the magician, made things happen. The assist and the goal truly deserves that number eight. But yes, we move straight on to midfield as well. We had, who did we have again? Donny van der Beek. An assist. Seven for him. As well, we had Daniel James who, came, who started and came off as well. I'm going to have to give him a six because I didn't know, know what he did today. I just did not know what he did today. I don't know. I can't tell you what he did. No, neither could you tell me what Daniel James did today. That's why he's getting a six. Ingaro, he's getting a six too. Because he was not, he was ineffective. He was ineffective. Ingaro needs to step up. I don't know. I feel sorry for him. Maybe because he's playing with the shitter players. He can't show his true qualities. But good players are able to show their true qualities anytime. You say a lot about people criticise Pogba. If he's a world-class player, he should be able to show his qualities all the time. Same thing goes with Ingalo. He, he's, he's a top player. Of course, playing for Man United, you need to be a top player. Then again, that's questionable. But yeah, my manager rating, Oli, he needs to step up in his coaching, but I'm going to have to give him a six. I could give him a seven because we won 3 0, but no. Six. Straight up, six. My opinion of Oli is that he needs to go back to school, go back to uni and to do some more qualification. I don't think he's got the GUA for pro license because he can't coach. He can't coach. On coach his way out of anything. Anything. I'm telling you that, guys. I'm going to tell you that for free. I just hope he improves. But if it's not him, then it's the coaching staff. They need to go. But guys, I'm glad that we're through to the next round. 
you know the catch up volume 11 will be out this saturday i will say because of course we were meant to record tonight but of course we played so again guys you watched catch up on the catch up as well of number 10 and also number nine yeah guys at the end of the day it was lovely guys thank you for watching as well remember guys remember to subscribe smash that like button and also share and guys i'm tired hopefully we beat spurs on sunday at 4 p.m guys oh no sorry 4 30 but yeah guys remember to keep it united and keep it red united i am out